Hello and welcome back to PT Tube. This is Dr. Muzakir Ahmad Khan. In this video of mine, I'll be discussing with regards to a particular task of listening module. This I consider as a killer task. I want you to keep watching this video till the end. I'll let you know why this particular task I consider as killer task and what implications it has on your result and how you can master and uh, you can increase your overall performance and get your desired score. Before we actually get into discussion of it, I request you all to subscribe to our channel. You see a red button below this video. I request you all to do so. And those have already done, I'm very much thankful to you. Yeah, let's get started. First of all, I would like to discuss things related to preparation. And we all prepare in order to get our desired score. And there are a number of strategies and tips and tricks that are available online on any platform, but for that matter, it doesn't hold good for all of them. In the sense, whatever strategy that you see, it doesn't hold good for any uh, candidate. In the sense, strategies varies because there are very important parameters that are involved here. That is time, frequency, and your efforts for preparation. So you will have to opt the tips and tricks based on your desired score. To do so, you will have to first set a goal and finalize as what amount of you know band that you are looking for. Are you looking for 65 plus points or 79 plus? Whatever it is, you will have to first decide. Based on it, you will have to choose and select particular tip and trick and follow those and implement in your practical examination so that you can save a lot of time and efforts because there are many number of uh, tips that are available. If you keep following those, it becomes an experiment and that doesn't fetch you anything. At the end of the day, you will not gain anything. So the best thing is first decide as what amount of band you are looking for, then select accordingly, then prepare. Yeah, the killer task will come back to this. I'll let you know as what kind of task and a listening module is killer task, what I consider as, and I'll also let you know why this I consider it as killer. It is highlight correct summary. Yeah, this particular task, which comes probably third or fourth task under listening module, this I consider as killer task because it, I'll let you know, because we get marks out of this task for both listening and reading. Though this module is listening module, after solving this particular uh, task, we get marks for both listening and writing. That is why I consider it as killer task. Why? We'll discuss things in detail. On the day of examination, we'll get two to three questions. This is how things look like on the day of examination with regards to this particular task. On the top, you'll find instructions which you need not go through. Beneath it, you will see a window wherein you may see things, uh, the amount of uh, audio played or amount of audio that is remaining over here. And uh, in some cases, in some instances, you, you may also see a video being played over here. Since it is a listening module, you need not focus on the video. You do not watch on the video. Instead, keep and uh, you know put all of your efforts, time into listening to things. And beneath it, you will see four, three to four summaries. And your job is to select the best one, which best you know, matches with the audio that was played. And that is what you're supposed to do. There are a lot of misconceptions and claims uh, which people prepare according to it and end up losing the things. I'll let you know what those are. Some people say that this particular task is not important at all. It doesn't give you any mark towards your scoring of listening thing. Hence, do not pay attention. And some people say that it gives, actually it gives marks to both listening and reading. Hence, pay more attention onto it either way. These are the misconceptions. Some say that no, don't pay attention. And there are some tips and tricks which says that you should certainly pay more attention towards it. And the strategies, I see number of strategies available. Uh, one of it is uh, what they say, since it is not important, since it doesn't give you any point towards your listening uh, of your PT, so do not spend your time on it 
figuring out the best uh, summary. Instead, what you do is choose one random and just keep going. Save your time and you can use the time for the task that may come at the end of the session. That is, uh, uh, it could be fill up the blanks or it could be highlight incorrect word or it could be right from dictation. Definitely a lot of time is required to solve this task. So I see some uh, tips according to them. What they say us is do not pay attention to this particular killer task in the sense highlight correct summary, save the time, invest for the task which comes at the end. So this is one of it. And there are other strategies which says that this task is important. This since it gives marks for both reading and listening, hence pay more attention, arrive at the correct summary is what they say. So those who say that, again, there are multiple uh, tips. Few say that keep listening to the audio that you hear and keep reading the summaries. Do not make any key points or do not make any notes is what they say. And uh, finally, what they try to say is don't multitask. Don't uh, just keep listening and reading. Don't write. And there are some tips. What they say is do not hear or do not pay more attention to the whole of the audio. Instead, pay attention to this certain part of the audio that you just keep focusing on certain part. Either it could be the beginning portion or the center portion or the end portion of the audio and just match that portion with all of the summaries, whichever matches the best. That could be the right answer is what those tip centric says. And there is another strategy. Listen and make notes. Don't read is what they say. We'll discuss in detail all of these three and I'll let you know which works best based on my experience. So there are a set of people who say that this kind of strategy, uh, this kind of task is important. That is highlight correct summary is important because you get marks for both listening and reading. Choose or arrive at a solution come to a conclusion after going through all of the summaries and select the right one so that you can get marks. First of all, as I mentioned, there are some tips according to which they say that just read, keep listening and read the summaries. And they say not to make notes. According to me, this particular tip and trick may not work out for all of them because uh, you know, the summaries that you keep reading, they, you may encounter summaries oftentimes similar to each other. In that case, if you don't make a note, what happens is you may not differentiate between those summaries which are alike. In the sense, the summaries, the options that you have, they may have some additional information or some information might have been missed you will not be able to differentiate unless and until you have certain points noted down. Unless this strategy may hold good, but the condition is it is memory dependent. If your memory is good enough, if you can listen and keep things, then this uh, particular strategy may work good and hold good for them. But there are n number of people who write the exam and all of this memory and IQ power is different. So I don't recommend this strategy. And there is other thing that is available. It says that just listen to a particular portion and try to match and what match best with that particular portion is the right one is what according to it. I don't think so. I again don't consider this as a good practice. And uh, this may be right, but in exceptional case, not in general case. We'll move on to the thing that may work actually. That is listen and make notes. That is it, this particular strategy and tip and trick is feasible. That is logical, possible, because those who have gone through Nati CCL, they might have gone. Nati CCL, there is one examination and that is language credential exam, wherein making notes is very important. You, what are you supposed to do uh, over there is just listen and repeat. And even while repeating, you may not be, uh, in the sense, repeat in another language. Whatever you listen, for sure, you'll not be able to repeat as same as being audio played, isn't it? So what you'll be taught to do, they, they will teach you to make notes so that once we make notes, even we miss the things, 
we can go through the notes and recall the things, recollect the things. Isn't it? That is logical and practical. Hence, I opt this strategy to be practical and I practice this and implement it in my exams. And this may hold good in general case for all of them. But there is one problem with this strategy. What is it? We end up spending more time. And time plays a crucial role in deciding our score. This particular strategy is in general terms a good and effective one. But the thing is people sometimes if they don't prepare quite well, they end up spending more time, which, you know, uh, lead them to get less marks. I'll, I'll let you know with the help of my own scores. The first time th that I wrote PT uh, back in October 2020, uh, September and October I wrote a couple of times. You, can, you may see over here, I wasn't expecting 75 in writing because I was quite confident uh, with the strategies that I had learned. I was not expecting this fine, but I had a problem with reading because reading is always 50-50. We may, it's very uh, tough job of uh, under PT examination. Whereas listening, I got 88 by following strategy number one, that is pick randomly, save time, and invest the time onto the last task of PT examination. This is what I did. Unfortunately, I got, I got 88. I didn't even read all of the summaries. I got 88. Why? Because the task that comes at the last, there is a uh, highlight incorrect word and uh, fill up the blanks and write from dictation. Fortunately, I got all of those from technical background. Since I'm from technical background, I was aware of the technical vocabulary. I not even single fill up the blanks went wrong. And I could do best in write from dictation. Also in uh, highlight incorrect, I could do better. Since I did quite well in the last three tasks. I believe that, you know, going by choosing a random highlight uh, correct summary did not matter much over there. Hence, I got 88. You can just have a look at my uh, score in the next test. Look what I got. Uh, my marks are reduced. I was 75 in writing. I figured out. I knew I was quite well in writing. I figured out and I sorted out that reading is still same, but I went down from 88 in listening to 75. Why? And just by following strategy number one, randomly picking one particular summary without even reading it, I arrived at 75. Right? I'll, I'll tell you reason. Because the last task that is fill up the blanks, highlight incorrect word and write from dictation, those plays a cru uh, crucial role. If you go wrong there, None of the strategies will work in listening module. That's what happened. I went wrong because I wasn't aware of the vocabulary. I went wrong in multi some two to three fill up the blanks. I um, I had I heard the words which I was not used to. I never I never heard them in the past. I randomly wrote there. Also, I committed mistake in highlight correct uh, highlight incorrect word and uh, missed some couple of words in right from dictations. I went wrong in last three. Since hence strategy number one did not work to me well this time. So I can infer that strategy number one works fine only when last task goes well. Coming next, what I did is after this, I came to a conclusion that this is not going to work. Let me watch YouTube board videos. And uh, I came across videos wherein people keep saying me that, you know, highlight correct summary gives a lot many marks for towards your reading and listening. And since I was suffering both the times in reading stuck at 78, I realized that yes, since I'm not doing well in a highlight uh, correct summary, that is why I'm not getting for uh, getting marks for reading as well as for listening. I opted strategy number three. That is, let me go through all of the strategies, choose the correct one. That's what I did. I could do well, I could get marks in reading, but whereas listening, no, because I did well in highlight correct summary. I was able to choose the correct summary. I ended up spending more time over here because my aim was to choose the correct summary irrespective of what time I spent. I did the same thing. 
I ended up spending more time and I got very less time towards my last sessions, last few tasks. I, I missed one right from dictation. Hence, I lost mark for listening. Whereas I got, I improved in reading. With all this experiment, the next attempt which I gave out of my experience, I prepared myself. I came to a conclusion. I found my own strategy. I implemented that you can have a look what my score is. It is approximately absolute 19, all of it. 90 listening, uh, 89 reading, 90 speaking and 90 writing. So having said that, I like to say that time plays a very important role. Though you are following correct strategy of arriving at the correct uh, summary, you end up spending more time. So though you are choosing the right one, time plays a very important role over here. I would like to say that why time is more important in listening module than reading. In both of these sessions, that is in reading and listening, time, the given time is fixed. Okay, the time is not individually tasked. Instead, the time is for the whole session for reading as well as listening. But there is a difference. What's the difference is in reading, you have one provision that is, if you, for example, if you are in 15th task, and you assume that task number 15 is not important, task 16 and 17 is important. What you can do is you can simply click next if you don't like the question. Whereas by considering the time constants, if you say the time is very less, you are supposed to do two more. What you can do is simply click next and move on to the next module, next task, sorry. But in case of listening, that doesn't happen. What actually happens is even before the question starts, you will see question uh, in the sense, a window onto the screen of the new task. That is the last, for example, the last task was task number five. Now it's task number six. Task number six is on the screen, but the task doesn't start in the sense, the audio doesn't start playing. Instead, what you can see is that that starts only after six about for about six to seven uh, ten seconds of time in the sense even before the actual audio starts you will be given some preparation time or whatever you call it as of about six to ten seconds though if you are following strategy number one time is very less now i'm supposed to skip it but i cannot do that you will have to wait for six to ten seconds isn't it so time plays a very crucial role here. Even if you want to skip things, you cannot skip in listening module. Time plays a very important role. Okay. So you will, you will have to invest time wisely and not keep spending and uh, keep focusing on particular tasks for a long duration of time. I would like to conclude. Uh, this is my last slide. I'd like to make a conclusion that all of the strategies may work. Okay. If you're simply randomly uh, choosing one of the summary, then other strategies also holds good. That is a po just listen a portion and try to match or other way around. Don't make notes and just keep listening and reading. Okay. All the strategies may work. If there is one condition, the condition is if at all, if the last task that is uh, fill up the blanks, highlight incorrect words and write from dictation goes well. If those three goes well, solving of uh, highlight correct summary you may go through and you may implement any of the strategy other way around if that doesn't happen then you will end up spending more time and uh, all of your strategies fail over there okay uh, in conclusion i would also say out of all of the strategies that i mentioned the most logical and practical strategy is listen make notes compare the things are with the same are with the correct solution because you never know as what the next task is if the task is user friendly to you or the task is not friendly to you we never know that so it is always important for us it plays very since it plays very crucial role it is actually a good practice to solve uh, select correct summary how to do it i would suggest the last strategy that is listen make notes and then compare your notes with the options that are available. But you are supposed to do all the things within 1.3 minutes to two minutes, in the sense one and a half minutes to two minutes, not more than that. 
if you just with your mindset that you are supposed to choose the right summary if your mindset is this then you will just keep going going to read again and again choose the correct summary but at the cost of time you will end up spending more time this is what happens in conclusion the final overall the nutshell is this that we never know what kind of task we are going to face next whether that will be simple or tough whether that will be friendly or not hence we should never ignore this highlight correct summary hence i consider this as a killer session you got to be wise you got to choose correct but in within within limited time if possible i'll can you know prepare a detailed video on this and that's it for today and i hope that you might have subscribed to our channel by now and those who have not done i request you all to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned i'll be uploading the practical actually working strategies on youtube uh, very frequently so keep watching our videos and please share among your friends and those people who are in need of pt preparation back at pt tube we prepare them according to their uh, we first you know assess them we try to find out where a particular candidate stands and then we provide the strategy that best matches to them that will help them to prepare well and save the time money and giving pt again and again if at all if anybody is interested for the coaching they may contact us on the below details and thank you that's it for today take care bye bye